Hey, it's the Chubby Bartender Podcast with your host, Jason Gillum and Chad Reynolds. With special guest each week. Sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. Hey, we're back. Hey, look here. Easy peasy. That's how quick we jump into that, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Tyler yeah. gives yeah. me the cue and we go. So we, <laughs> we got Tyler back. Life couldn't be yeah. better. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. We all survived <laughs> yeah. Sunday night. Boy, I'll tell you, Sunday night was hard on all of us. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, Pudge. I struggled on Monday. I really struggled on Monday. I struggled enough to think well, about life. I, what I yeah, but I thought I thought it was kind of funny though. Like I, I was getting texts from George Smalley like seven a.m. He I'm was like, ready to go. I'm like, hey, we're hey, savage, dude. Well, I, I think yeah. I even did this with you Tuesday or whatever. Yeah, day yeah, was. yeah. I'm blaming him. Well, it's his fault. It is. I mean, yeah, we got yeah. drunk with him before the show. Yes. We got drunk with him during the show. Yeah. And then that it fiasco killed us. of it a killed live. Us. Absolutely oh, killed us. Jesus. He killed us. And, 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 yeah. Too long, George. Hey, George, it's on you. <laughs> hey, it, you it certainly wasn't our fault. Yeah. Did you move that paper that he had? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Certainly, so. certainly on George, not us. Certainly on George. But hey, hey. hey I, I got to tell you a story okay. before we start the show. Okay. You guys, like, you know, I'm not a hunter, okay. right? Yep. Not an outdoorsman. But we've had this week at the Reynolds house uh, the great mouse hunt. <laughs> mouse hunt. Okay. <laughs> so now I've always claimed I was never a hunter. Uh-huh. Well, Did you get I, I, I'm a hunter, dude. But, hey, <laughs> Did he die? I've been excited. Let, let, <laughs> let, let me tell you a little bit about this. I mean, you guys have probably dealt with mice in your house. Right? I dealt oh, yeah. with a bat two days ago. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Which is a flying <laughs> mouse. Flying <laughs> mouse. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I mean, there's no wings going on mm-hmm. over there. I, I think they're coming through the garage. I don't know. I mean, you know. I've not. I had some pretty serious battles out in Franklin Valley, and yeah. I, I was kind of drawing on that. Yeah. But like in town, I've I've not really dealt City with city mice a lot and of country this. mice is different mice. Yeah. Well, I've not dealt with it. So, but but now I I got to be honest. I I get a little bit excited. What is time for the hunt? Yes. <laughs> yeah. A, and so this time, I think I put more thought in. It. Like the first sighting, uh, probably occurred on Monday. Okay. okay. Sighting. Yes, okay. I saw the son bitch. I mean, it, <laughs> and and, and everybody, identified now. Target, listen, target well, now, identified. Now, now listen, you know, to me, I I don't like him being in the house. Uh-huh. I don't. Uh-huh. Okay, but like to my wife and kids, it's like we got live alligators in our house. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. You, know, you know, it's like yeah. somebody is going to get eaten. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. so I'm like, oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna work on this. It'll yeah. be all right. Yeah. Well, all right. So, Go to your room. All right, now listen. <laughs> now listen, guys. I'm kind of proud of myself. Like. I took this like a serious Hunt. hunting event. Okay. I tracked them. You tracked okay. them. I, I, I learned their behavior. <laughs> I, 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 I learned. He learned. I, their, I learned. Their, 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 hey, their, I, 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 I their, identified uh, their, their little, their, their trails. Yeah. Like where they patterns. were going. Yeah, their patterns. Them. I watched them. Okay. Okay. Like, and. and now, how many are we talking? Well. What I realized uh, by Tuesday is that I was not dealing with one. One. <laughs> okay. I mean, there are. Yeah. I mean, I think there, I don't really know how many. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, but I, I started to see their patterns. I studied it. Okay. Okay. I'm like, this is how they move. We're going to be setting traps out, but I'm going to wait and see. Okay. So not only did I do like, I, I, I track them. I, I've got an idea of where they're where the pattern is, what they're doing. Okay, and tell me if I'm doing this right or not, Pudge. You're you are a hunter, okay, or you've done it. <laughs> I, I have a house. <laughs> well, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, like I I I trying to equate this to, to like, a deer hunt. Yes, okay. 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 hit me with it. Okay, so 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 I you know I I, I think I've identified where they are. Okay, all right. So today was the day. Okay, I'm oh. like all right. All right. I went. And I bought my traps. I bought all kind of stuff. I mean, I'm like, what kind uh, of traps? Okay, uh, I don't know. Whatever they had at the dollar store. The, Real not, traps. Not, not the 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 usual uh, uh, wooden shingle. 
Yeah. Was it was uh, it like where they go in it? Well, I had one of those. Yeah, like that, yeah. you only had so many. Like I had one where it twisted like yeah, that right, where they yeah, go in. Yeah. Then I had two or three of these. Like they were white and they looked like teeth almost. Ooh. I mean, kind of <laughs> kind of rough. Yeah. Dude. Like, but I was happy with that. Mm-hmm. Like I hey I I'm. I'm wanting to inflict pain at this point. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because it's inflicting a lot of pain on me. Like, yes. like I said, yeah. uh, there's live, a mouse. Li- loose. Live alligators in the <laughs> house. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so I, I, uh, I track them. Get your uh, got, So today I'm like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna set. Today out. was the set. Today I'm gonna set. Now, uh, not only did I do that, I set out like what I would consider like. Uh, feed plots or food plots okay bait I, 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 let me tell you what i did <laughs> now, 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 let me tell you what i did i i took like a kroger bag uh-huh. and put like a bunch of like little debbie wrappers down Ooh. in it and some stuff like How'd that how'd you get the wrappers did you eat the little debbies well i mean they, 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 <laughs> hey look we don't this need to go like in we don't, need, we don't need to go into i like that. the sound of this yeah, we don't need to go into that <laughs> yeah i i baited my traps with peanut butter but like Ooh. i but then i put out these food, food plots like right oh, yeah. beside yeah. them yeah. you know and sure. so i thought all right noon today i've got all my shit in order let's go yeah hey lay them out about noon and my strategically by twelve twenty, they're they're in there, dude. By one o'clock, I had dispatched three animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would refer that as a harvest. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. In the early days, you'd had dinner tonight. Oh yeah. boy, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, mean, oh, I didn't realize how small those animals are. I mean, oh, those yeah. are little guys, yeah. man. Town mice. All right, so so I I was feeling real good about myself. Like, uh, I, I actually went out. We got a lot of feral cats in our neighborhood, mm-hmm. it seems like. Or I don't know. They probably belong to somebody. I was just going out and throwing Feed. them in the street. And, like, that was another funny thing. I, I threw them out. Half hour later, I got there. None of them are there. Gone. They got them. Birds. Yeah, the Birds cats or them. whatever. Oh, I don't yeah. know. So it was a Something feast. It was a yeah. feast. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I laid out a buffet. But then I'm sitting there this afternoon, like, I'm throwing out an email, and I hear over in the corner that little. Yeah. That, yeah. That okay. same damn sound that crunching that and i'm chewing thinking, i'm thinking jesus didn't i mean this was a big you, you gotta have a hunt tomorrow well it continued i reset <laughs> the traps laid them right back out put my food plots out got them again hey we'll see how many we're gonna get tonight. I, I, I bet you'll be surprised. when i get home tonight <laughs> i bet you'll be surprised. i want i hope that, yeah. that i've dispatched a couple now, more of them i had a hell of a problem with them this summer oh did you i had a problem with rats in my barn Oh, and I mean, I have all my now. Rats are a little bigger animal. The rat, yeah, these rats were about the size of a, a little cat. Really. That's one of the things I'm scared of is a rat. A rat? Yeah, I don't like them because they'll bite you. They jump. Yeah, at oh, you. oh will they really like? Yeah, they yeah. see like a mouse. They'll jump at you. These, are, these were mouse, fearless. A yeah. mouse will scare you because it just startles you. Yeah, no, like rat. You're sitting there and they're so fast, no. like they'll just shoot across. If a rat's yeah. cornered, a rat will yeah, bite yeah, you. Yeah, they'll try you. to bite you. Oh, yeah. Now that's a little bit bigger trap too. They'll come right after your food. Like they could hear the feed shake whenever I do. And I mean, uh, I'm talking hundreds. Now, my mom, hundreds. My, my mom's dog yeah. kennel had them, out, her outdoor dog kennel. Uh, okay. And I mean, you just couldn't get rid of them. And then one day, I don't know if it was a moon thing or what. I, I've, I've attributed it to some sort of eco science thing. Yeah, yeah. One day <laughs> yeah, at my yeah. house and my mom's, they vanished. Never to be seen. I've never seen one since at either place. That's odd. And and I and I went to Tractor Supply. I was yeah. getting Tomcat and all that stuff to kill them. That's and, why I had Tomcat. That, those oh, were the trap oh, brand. And, and then I also put out uh, after I heard that one before I left the house. I was like, well, I, I also had a couple of Tomcat like, cubes bait traps. Like it's it's one of those with the mouse. Only the mouse can eat it. Like they yeah, got to get in good, there and yeah. eat it. I put those out. You'll know if they're closed. Yeah, yeah, the tail will be sticking out. Okay. Did you buy any of like the pebbles, like the the? Feed? No, it was. Uh, it, these are put contained. that there for the these colony. Are contained. Okay. And they'll take it back A to colony? the colony. Jesus Christ! Well, you don't know. Do you, you don't know how many of them there are, and I mean, <laughs> they, there they, might be hundreds. Of them. Yeah, you don't. Uh, seriously, you don't know. There could be. Yeah. Where would they be? Under your house. In the walls. In the walls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that do. doesn't sound good. <laughs> they, yeah. Are yeah. they do they destroy shit? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they know. I mean, they're rodents. everything. They'll start coming they, through yeah. your drywall. They'll start coming through. Well, everywhere. I mean, do I need to call like bogs? If you start, if you continue to see them. Yeah, if you think uh, there's enough, you need a professional. Uh, okay, if, you, okay. if you start if you start kill they'll eventually figure out that you know their pattern. 
Okay. And then, you know, when their buddies quit coming back to the nest, and, yeah, then, and yeah. then you'll have to set out a new one. And if right. you have to keep doing that and you're still Well, I don't have any desire to keep doing it. Like, I've enjoyed it this week. <laughs> and you're you're lucky they're mice. Yeah. Because yeah. if they were rats, you know, you ever see the movie oh. Willard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, like rats, you're right. Rats are a little scary. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Like, oh, I mean, they'd pack away like everything. And I mean, you well, could, how, what'd you do with those rats out the, there in your barn? How'd they, you kill them? I, well, I just kept putting Tomcat out, and you, and you would see dent in the population. Okay. And then next thing you know, I mean, they breed so fast. Yeah, they do. And, and I yeah, mean, these yeah. things just, I mean, they could go down there, and then I don't know what the, like, gesta- do got, what's the gestation cycle on a mice, on a mouse. Mouse. Do you think these guys are like, uh, they got a nest in my garage or they something? Very, or if, about, even even if they have a nest your neighbors. Yeah. You're, you're, you could, oh, they might be coming from somebody else. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, how? And I mean, like it's amazing they can get through like anything. Oh yeah, any they, can, they can get through a little crack. You saw how yeah. small. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, You saw how small it was. Oh yeah. I mean, and I guess they can just flatten themselves out, yeah. right? I mean, pretty yeah. much. Well, Nin- nineteen twenty-one days. Nine, so every three weeks they're having how, how many do they have in a litter? Uh, that's what I was looking for now. Then I wonder uh, how long they it just takes re- that they, litter to get to where they're they're ready to go. They just replaced those ones you killed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So I'm sitting there feeling proud of myself. Actually, I'm losing the battle. You're losing the war, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you won the battle, but I you're losing I, the I war. I got three of them. I'm what? like, man, I inflicted some damage. That? Hell, they probably got like 20 or 30 yeah. of them. Yeah. Well, yeah. think about this. Think okay. if there's two females, gestation period, 19 to 21 days, right? Okay. Yep. Oh how many God. How many will they have in a litter? When it says female mouse gets pregnant about five to ten times each year, can give birth up to three to 14 to 21 puppies, or 21 Mice, I, I guess. A year or a litter? Puppies? A litter. Well, they call rat puppies, the oh. young ones. You know. So, so think if you got three or four mama mice in there, having twenty mice every three weeks. <laughs> Shit, I came in here feeling confident. <laughs> He's devastated. Hey, you know, I, I was excited. Well, I, I was that's like, why well, you, we, we, hey, yeah. they'll get the hell out of now. Mom. I've had luck with the poison because yeah. they will take it back to the nest, mm. and and it'll typically wipe out the colony. Okay. Okay. And they will. Yeah. You know. See, I laid out the poison when I left. Well, then, then so you you might continue. You, you'll start seeing them all wheezy and shaky. <laughs> well, like, how do you know? Like, they just fall over and die with they'll, that, right? They'll come to you, look at you, them puppy dog guys just die right in front of you. Good. They'll be staggering around. And, well, I know. mean, hey, the worst thing, I wasn't really going to go here, but I'm going to tell you guys this, and this is bad, so don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> they, hey, one of them, I had set it in the closet, and I, I swear to God, it. <laughs> I think I was so on the trail. Uh-huh. Like, I don't even think he went for the bait. It snared him. Like snared it, had, him. it had his back legs. Oh. He wasn't dead. <laughs> What'd you do? Well, I, I mean, the, the closet was in the bathroom. Tile floor. Okay, no. Hard floor. I didn't want to make a mess. I threw some bitch in the toilet on the trap and drowned him. <laughs> <laughs> did you take him back out or did you just yeah, flush him? Took him out and threw him in the road, bud. Cat food. <laughs> now that's. I mean, don't think it. I'm not a savage either. I mean, <laughs> savage. I mean, that's, pretty, that's pretty hard. Well, right what there. do you do, dude? Well, I, I mean, just probably bashed him. Well, I mean, which is better? I mean, I, 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 I can put. I would you do? You gonna get your shoes dirty? I mean, <laughs> that's a good point. What I, would I mean, do? what would you do? I mean, both are savage. I mean, what am I? I mean, crack his skull. Uh, did you I, 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 well, I, I think you did. I mean, I'm the, sitting, you did I'm, the appropriate. Yeah, thing. like I'm sitting yeah. there, like, well, I mean, there's not, that toilet's deep enough. This gentleman, if I if he's still attached to the trap, and I drop that in there, yeah. I mean, he's did he try to tread water? Oh, with it's, that log it's, tied it's, to it's, him. It's bad, dude. <laughs> I mean, it was. Is fair. this going to haunt your dreams? Well, well, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm not good with <laughs> it. Uh, I mean, it was, uh, it was. It was. It was pretty quick. But not quick not enough. enough. Not quick enough. You, you, you're not going to have flashbacks like those guys in Nam. I <laughs> might. I might. I might. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I could see his little buggy eyes like, uh, you know, like underwater. Like he was struggling. He was. He tried to fight for life, dude. That's what animals do. And it's kind of. It's like, man. I. I mean, I'm not trying to play God here, man. You could at least I just want to plunger. Just held him under. Well, I did. With the, <laughs> handle, of tried it, to the handle of it, I. I I pushed it down, <laughs> and it bubbled a couple of times, and then like, uh, 
I did an FES dad. Oh, Lord have mercy. God. I mean, that's a little rough. I realize that, but like, what do you do, man? I mean, and I, the audience that coach here is going to attract. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, hey, hey, this is all right. Good. I mean, you know, well, what do you good. do, man? I mean, I, I feel like I made an attempt to be humane. I mean, I well, guess. Well, you can't I, let them take over your house. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's you or them. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean what you, you get to, it honestly, <laughs> well, like you get to a point. And it's like, look, man, I'm not trying to be. I'm not a hunter, man. But like, I'm a hunter this week. Well, and, 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 a kill's I mean, a kill. I, yeah, well, and I mean, I didn't want to drown the guy. I didn't really want to talk about that on the air, but like, you know, we, 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 we went there. Like, I mean, I feel, them. I feel like. Like that was probably it. Just probably took longer than if I'd have just yeah. But like I just didn't. I didn't didn't have it in me with the blunt force. Blunt force. I couldn't. I couldn't put. (laughs) I couldn't put the heel to that guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you try it next. You're probably gonna get another opportunity (laughs) next time it does. Unfortunately, yes. He'll be back. That or just take it out there and just take that trap. Just throw it out in the yard. A bird will come pick him off. Oh. And by and by the time he gets to it, it'll be their grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, there's grandpa out there getting picked off by a bird. Yeah. Whenever I bush hog, you can watch the birds come and just pick them right out of the field. Yeah. Well, like, okay, so th- that happens that fast. Mm-hmm. Like how quickly do they become like a nuisance? Like are they well, are they on the tip for a little well, bit? Well, like or whenever something? you drive I mean, by a hay field, yeah, there's hundreds of thousands of them in that field. Really? Wouldn't you agree? I mean, you've yeah, but they're, the, they're a different kind of mouse. That's so. a field mouse. Yeah. Field yeah. mouse they're a little yeah. bigger. But what, what you're is dealing this? with yeah, is yeah. you're dealing with house mice. Yeah, yeah. And those uh, things have evolved with human beings. I, I mean, mean, they're they little. I mean, they're dependent on human well, habitation. Like, like, is yeah. there like what did we do? To get these damn things in our Nothing. house. Nothing. Just, you know, people had grain or whatever, uh, food okay. in the house, and they just started coming yeah. in. Yeah. You have a dog? You have a yeah, cat? Yeah, but they're not eating the... No. Uh, boy, if I had a cat, we wouldn't have any mice. <laughs> it, dude, it could it could be the... I mean, they might I'm be coming out of the my dog. I'm waiting on my dog to, to claim one. He'll get one. I'd yeah. love to see yeah. him get one. I'd yeah. feel good about yeah. that. My dog will bring everything up to the house. He'll go out in the field. But I was surprised Dead. at how little these damn yeah. things are. I'm pretty man. sure I, that, uh, well, they call them Norway rats, yeah. uh, that they came on ships to North America. Oh, they, they, uh, they, yeah. they, they, weren't, they weren't here. You yeah. Know? Yeah, they, yeah. they weren't yeah. here. Yeah. You know? they well, and here. these things have just evolved. And so to like, be with people. I'm so just like telling, a, a yeah. house mouse like that or house mice. Like they, we've probably had them before and didn't even know. You know, and it's I just mean, it's just been you know centuries they've lived side by side with yeah. human beings. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, right. Odds are, all four of us have yeah. one in our house right now. Oh, I know, I do. Yeah. yeah oh, like I it's do. so yeah. like it's not like it's that uncommon. You never hear. You don't have to be just, ashamed or anything. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's, I mean, no, I mean, no. my God, we're not living in <laughs> filth. No, I mean, no, but but no. it's yeah. like, but but like you know, the thing is, like I'm sure we've probably had them there before, but like this has been. And like noticeable you can hear those bastards when it gets uh, cold too. Yeah, they'll when come it gets inside. cold they come yeah. inside whenever yeah, i cut okay. whenever i cut hay or bush hog out the house they come into the house because i've taken their cover away okay you, uh, if it's you're a, like it, driving yeah. them towards your yeah. house well if you had extreme low temperatures then yeah. those uh field mice start which coming have, in which, which we have had the last yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean they just said but it's these a warm things spot. these things like you're talking about these things probably live in houses anyway right yeah i mean that's just what they yeah. do yeah but what i've had has been like the field mice or the deer mice the deer, wood, yeah. Wood, yeah you know wood you know mice um, well I, I guess i'm i've turned into a harsh man uh the killer uh, but you've had to i've got fucking i got kill in my eyes uh, <laughs> I, I i'm i i I've, I've declared war on these mice um and now I'm starting to feel a little bad. You guys have made me feel like I, I was a little bit. Well, every hunter that, will tell you they always feel bad right after the kill. Well, I mean, you know, most of them, like, I expect the trap to finish him off, for Christ's sake. I mean, this one, he gets got snared. I mean, he, yeah. he, he was. <laughs> Maybe he was a fighter. Well, he was. He, he, he was coming out of there. That's why I don't like those glue traps. There ain't nothing worse than seeing a damn glue trap scurry. Well, I mean, what, what, what are you going to do with that? I mean, that's the thing. Like, those glue traps don't kill them. No, then no, they're going to no, sit no. there and look at you. I just yeah, say, what do you just grab it, hit it on the concrete? Like, what? Throw them away. Dude, no, I mean, then they'd be, like, be like some, to death. Wouldn't they? It'd be like somebody throwing us in a barbecue. Ooh. 
I mean, <laughs> I mean you throw them in the trash, they're going to where they want to go. All right, so now listen. Uh, honestly, drowning that gentleman, there's been a lot worse. Yeah, there'd be a lot worse. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Electrocution. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah. Rest in peace, Mike. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Well, we All got right. Dennis Reinhardt on the show. Yeah, <laughs> hey, sorry about that. Yeah, we went a little long. <laughs> that was minutes. a good conversation. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. I just I had to share. I, so, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. <laughs> We've known you all. We, you know, I know Chad and I oh, are both. I've known you now yeah. for almost thirty years, and I, yeah. you're probably longer than that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. This guy sitting here to my right is one of my favorite human beings. But he's, oh, he, thank you. There is no he, doubt uh, about that. You, I mean. You, I've I've gave you credit for this for you. Coach Blankship changed my life, so um, you know I, I owe a lot to you. That's so, important to hear. Yes. I mean, uh, every coach. I mean, that's the most important thing. Yep, How yep. did you influence yep. people? You, know? you did. Uh, yeah, I can honestly that. say that. Uh, and I, I told I, I was able to tell Coach Blankship that right at the end. I, I, I was able. Jay invited me out, uh, uh-huh. but we're not here to talk about coaching and, and football. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're here to talk about. I mean, you've been. Uh, so I mean, we follow well, you. Let's talk about what an amazing guy. Yeah, this guy I mean, is. you know. So you, mean, you were a teacher yeah. for how many years? 32 years. 32 yeah. years. Yeah. And it's what I've admired about you ever since you got out of it. When did you get out of it? 2011. 10 mm-hmm. years. Yeah. So 12, 11 years 11 now. 11 years 11 now. years now. And you have actively not pursued anything. You've just lived. But you have, I mean, you have got into your lifestyle, and that is uh, an outdoorsy, and I don't want to say arts involved, but there is, there's a, there's, there's, a, there's been a, a lot of art involved. A lot there, of art yeah, involved, yeah. kind of on a, on an accident, wouldn't you think? I, mean, I, I would think so. You know, it, it, it ended up, um, I would look for things, you know, it might be a natural arch or a yeah. pillar or something like that. Uh, and, you know, just photography just was kind of came along with it. You know, I wanted people to see what I was seeing and yeah. how I saw it, you know. Yeah. Now, 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 Dennis, you, you always were an outdoors type yeah, person. Yes. Like, you've always hiked. That, that wasn't just in retirement, right? You just got um, more time. You know, I would uh, I would hike into, backpack into West Virginia to fish and things, yeah, you know. Yeah, and yeah. You've always been a, a river fisherman, haven't you? Yeah, stream yeah, fisherman. Stream fisherman. Yeah, stream yeah, fisherman. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I love fishing for smallmouth bass and uh, in West Virginia for native brook trout and native rainbow trout. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, just get your backpack and go in there and walk in yeah. about five miles and camp yeah. for the night and... How, I, I really like how, that. How did you, <clears throat> and I know you coached a lot, and I know, you know, you were teaching, you were actively yeah, coaching, but yeah. how much of this did, were you doing during your working years? You know, we talked. I, I, was, I was doing it because uh, my father and I did it a lot. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Every fall and mm. spring, we would go into West Virginia. Every October, it mm. was sort of like a, a ritual for my little brother and him and me to mm. walk into the Cranberry Wilderness and places like that. You know, what what we, part of West Virginia? Uh, you're in the uh, eastern part, Monongahela and National Forest. Oh, okay, Forest. okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So you uh, just started off this. You you've always been doing this ever since I've known you. Then you've yeah. I mean, the, the, you just didn't the, share it with us, right? The fishing part I, I did, but not the pictures, and not stuff. not the hiking and all that stuff. So so right. whenever you retire, you get into this, and then you've also got social media, which you're able to share this stuff on right. now. So tell us a little. Tell us about you know you you wanted people to start seeing what yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Give us the evolution, like because like had you had you messed with photography and stuff prior no, to no the, uh, no. This is a this was the first time once uh-huh. I retired, uh-huh. and on social media there are also uh, photography groups, and some of them are as far away as Germany. So yeah. Yeah. you actually get to promote southeastern Ohio, yeah, in other cool. places, and, yeah. and, and people are really astounded. They have mm-hmm. no idea what this place is like. They mm-hmm. think Ohio's one big cornfield. Yeah. They think it's flat. They have no idea Actually, about the, tr- we, we, we've the terrain. Talk, we've talked about that <clears throat> a lot. I mean, the, beautiful. We, we are it fortunate is. to live in, in, in this part of Appalachia. Yeah, we are. And uh, our, uh, our area was basically, the glaciers didn't glaciate it. They didn't flatten it. But what happened was the meltwater came off the glaciers. And a lot of the ravines and a lot of the gorges that we have, it just tore through there and it carved that for us. So it kind of is a gift of the glacier where we're at mm-hmm. now, even though the glacier did not touch it. Have yeah. you gotten into like the... Uh 
uh, uh, that time period? Have you got? Have you taken your history stuff back to that time period? I, I I've read about it. Um, for example, you tried to find things. I guess you. Know? Well, yeah, you 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 go to look for it, and it kind of explains why something looks the way it does. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar. Uh, if you've ever had your Jeep up in the Narrows. The Narrows up above Londonderry, no. where Salt Creek, uh, mm-hmm. the, the hills just go straight up where Salt Creek's at, and there's a road that runs along it. If you want to go to the Hocking Hills, it's a nice drive in your Jeep to drive. You go to Londonderry, and then you head towards uh, Tar Hollow, yeah. and uh, there's a road that goes off to the right, and I'm trying to think of what it is, Eagle Mills Road. Go to Eagle Mills Road, turn left and go up the Narrows, and you can go up the Narrows that way and then come into Ash Cave in the back side oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the Hocking Hill. And it, it follows the stream all the way oh, up through. Yeah, okay. okay. Stuff. But it, oh, uh, that's that's the way that was formed, there was a, a giant uh, lake during glacial time that a natural dam had dammed it up. It gave way, and when it gave way, it just cut through those hills. And so that made the Narrows. So oh, you can, you know, yeah. if you know about that, you look at it, and it's kind of neat looking, you know, and then you know how it was formed and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. but mm. I, I highly recommend um, just for a trip in your Jeep, mm-hmm. drive up there, uh, hit Route 56, turn right, go to Jimbo's yeah. bar and grill, <laughs> get it there, yeah. you know, yeah. and then if you want to hang at the caves or whatever, then do that. It's a, it's a nice little yeah. trip, or if you just want to drive up there to Jimbo's and then come back down through the Narrows. It's yeah. really nice. It's, it's the back way into Hocking Hills for us, really. Cool. So yeah. you're hiking all over then, Southern Ohio. You're, are you using a region? Or are you trying to... You well, know? I, I usually go... I've tried to go to every county and tried to find things. I mean, I've been you know as far west as uh you know adams county and down mm-hmm. in there you know mm-hmm. and stuff but generally i try to research something that i try to find you know yeah okay uh, you know there's either a, a feature i'm trying to find or i'm just kind of exploring some of the stuff that was just exploring and finding how, how long is your average hike dennis like when you when you go out to 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 do one of these how, how long, like, are you spending a whole I, day I don't in the even, woods? Or? Yeah, I, I don't even think about miles when I'm doing that. And right. a lot of times I'm stopping and I'm, you know, taking time to look at things or to take pictures, those sorts of things. Yeah. So I'm not like one of those people that's like a through hiker that uh. I'm going to hike 10 miles. and I'm Yeah, gonna you're do not it. necessarily doing, you're not doing it for no, exercise. And, and a lot of what I've done has not been on trails. I okay. mean, I basically follow a stream drainage in and then follow it back down out is what I do. Uh, okay. You know, and I'm looking for things. And, and you might not find what you're looking for, but you're always going to find something neat uh-huh. that you weren't expecting, uh-huh. you know. Yeah. So that makes it nice. When you too. follow water, it's typically going to take you to something cool. It, it is, and it's, it's the way to, you know, come Navigate. back come back out of there, too. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. Uh I've been lost before, <laughs> oh. and my my yeah. my wife, you know, she worries about me and stuff. Yeah. And I go by myself and everything. But I was in Paint Creek Wildlife Area looking for this arch. It was called Tremor Arch, mm-hmm. and there were no trails. They were deer trails. And mm-hmm. uh, if you remember Sleeping Beauty with the thorns and everything, there were thorns of I don't know five different kinds up above my head. Yeah. And I went in and I found the arch. Well, it was starting to get dark. I came back out, started following these deer trails, and it ended up in a dead end. Oh. Then I came back around and I was going, now you're lost. Yeah, and you're walking in circles. Yeah, and then yeah. you start getting panicked. You know, the because one. what are you going to do? You don't have cell phone service. You're going to sit down here and what'd the you do? Well, I was even as old as I am. I'm able to climb trees. I climbed a tree, yeah. and I saw this blue roof off in the distance. And I said, I don't care what I got to th- go through. I'm going through that. And I went through those briars, and I came out in this guy's backyard eventually. And I, I'm like, I don't care if he shoots me. He can yeah. come run out there with a shotgun. Yeah. Right. And I was just, like, sliced up. Mm-hmm. And I went out on the road. And, of course, this is when you couldn't go to the barber or anything. Yeah. And my beard was just you know, down like this. <laughs> I had these boots on up to my knees and this, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. this walking, walking stick. <laughs> and like I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just like blood coming <laughs> yeah. down, you know. And I'm walking down the road and these two guys are in their front yard. <laughs> yeah. And they're looking at me like, what in the hell? Who is this? Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. And so I came out like about... 
two and a half miles from where my car was at uh, and i made it back just as it was really getting dark yeah and i came home and mary jean was like oh my god you look like you got in a fight with wildcats mm -hmm. and so anyways people were all the time asking me where these places are at and some of them i don't want to tell people because they're just too fragile yeah and mary jean said you know you need to take that picture i took of you and when people ask you how to get someplace say I'll tell you how to get there, but this is what you're going to look like. When yeah. You get yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. So what's intriguing you about this Appalachia area? I mean, as I mean, obviously we've all grown up here, but I mean, do you have any interest on getting out west and doing this? I, I've I've been out west, um, but it's just so easy when it's close to you. Oh, I yeah. mean, I, I you know. I, and I want to tell you, outside the country, if you want to go to one of the most beautiful spots on earth, is go to Iceland. Uh, Iceland yeah. is just, I mean, it's just a fantastic place, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to the southern part of Brazil and the Pantanal. Uh, I've been to Costa Rica. Um, I've been, you know, out to uh, British Columbia and out there. But I'll tell you, Iceland is amazing. It's one of those places like... We uh, took a car and drove around the island, and everybody speaks basically three languages. They speak English, German, and then they speak Icelandic, mm -hmm. and um, very friendly people, hardly mm -hmm. any crime there or anything, yeah, so yeah. it's a very safe place to, to go. Um, the largest city, uh, Reykjavik, has about 250,000 people in it. Mm -hmm. The next biggest city has 15,000 people <laughs> oh, in my. it, and there are more sheep in eastern Iceland than people. Mm -hmm. but it, it's just such a beautiful place it's hard to make time because you're driving down the road and you want to pull off the road because there's something you want to look at right. and it was all formed by volcanic action so mm -hmm. it's just an amazing landscape it really oh, is and I, I would recommend it to anybody to go mm -hmm. yeah, i would it's absolutely a, it's beautiful did you did you uh, hit any of the hot springs there or anything like that now yeah they were there now katie she swam at them oh, okay. but there were there were areas that were like yellowstone i mean there. Yeah. Are geysers that you know are better than what you see in yellowstone there oh and everything my. you know so it's, it's really an amazing an amazing place waterfalls mm -hmm. tremendous waterfalls in iceland yeah. you know just just you look at stuff and you think that's not real that's the way it is you know yeah yeah when you think what what sculpted that and what why is that there and and you know like you know what's the reasoning behind you know why this rock is here in the middle of nothing Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Or, it, you know, and it's just geology's fascinating. Even around here, it's, it's, well, it's oh, fascinating. It amazes me how fast that it forms and changes. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm at the age now where I've seen change in the in the wilderness or the ecosystem, the forest, the forest, and I've seen I've seen layouts change, and and it's like, man, honestly, in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, but what I'm thinking that we're looking at now is nothing compared to what they were looking at in the exact same spot 300 years ago. You know, you can stand on, on this hill. I mean, I've seen, like, I saw a picture of Jackson the other day, mm -hmm. and it was from, like, down by uh, the Memorial Building, looking up Broadway. Mm -hmm. Huge hillside back in the background. <laughs> right. Not there no more. No. You know why? The app's there. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So it took it away. Or the highway. Went. The highway yeah. went yeah. through there and just totally changed. Look at, look at the amount of change that did. What, what I think is interesting is if you look at really old photos from the 19th century, mm -hmm. you see how much of the forest cover is gone. The woods. There's yeah. No wood. I, mean, mm -hmm. it, I mean, they'd cut down basically everything. 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 <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. And a lot of that had to do with the furnaces, you know. Sure. To, yeah. to, to supply charcoal to the furnaces mm -hmm. and everything. And them. I mean, you yeah, know, they didn't yeah, have exactly. gas furnaces right. back in. Exactly. You know, they had to, exactly. Can you imagine these three-story houses and just cutting enough wood to keep all the no, whole uh, life would be hard you know hard <laughs> it'd be a hard, you would go through, hard existence you know, yeah. three-story houses oh yeah you would go through 30 to 40 probably pick up i mean you, to not, try to, to try to heat it to try to heat your house yeah. i can't you i can you're cut cooking that. with it you're cooking yeah, yeah. Every, heating your water with it I yeah mean, everything and people don't realize that as far as electricity a lot of places in southeastern ohio didn't have electricity till the 19th 30s uh right, through the right. through the new deal you know they had the uh rural electrification that they did mm -hmm. and lawrence county was probably the county that had the least amount of houses that had electricity yeah down in pedro rocky <laughs> yeah, 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 area yeah, yeah. In, the, in those yeah. areas yeah. you know and, and people don't understand that they were the last i think weren't they in yeah, Ohio oh, to yeah, get it. yeah yeah there's there was some families my wife's family's from down in there there's some families that didn't get it until like within the last 15 or 20 
Oh, I bet. Yeah. Back in some of those hollows. Wow. Yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bet so. Yeah. And it, it's just, uh, you know, amazing, like you said, how things change quickly. The forest always takes over things. Yeah. And like one of, the, I, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but in Vinton uh, Furnace State Forest, there is something called the Belgium Coke Furnaces. You ever heard of uh, those? I've heard of Sheep's Dip. Mm. Mm. Have you have you heard of sheep stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's part of the uh, bison hollow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Different yeah. different thing. It, it's the same thing, but oh. the but the um, but the furnaces were actually technology, and what happened was in Vinton County they had Vinton Furnace and it was actually uh, making money for them, but they cut all the trees down and they needed <laughs> they needed charcoal. They couldn't have charcoal, so they needed yeah. to produce coke. So they brought this technology from Europe. Mm -hmm. And it's setting in the middle of the woods in Vinton County, and it was numbered like a jigsaw puzzle. So if you're walking along, you can see the numbered pieces that have fell off oh, of it. Cool. And so what happened was they tried to use the coal from the surrounding <coughs> hillsides, had too much sulfur in it. And so what it did was make the iron brittle. Wow. It bankrupted the company. Wow. But... This is probably the only. They didn't have a way to. They didn't clean the coal back in, did they? No, they had no the way. Stoker, yeah, they right. really had to stoke and, coal. And it's like maybe the only surviving example of that technology in the world today, and it's in the middle of a woods in Vinton County. Yeah. So explain to me this jigsaw. <laughs> that makes it yeah. Explain to me or take me sometime to this jigsaw thing. So so what do you mean? Well, it's real easy to get to. I'll tell you, if you go to MacArthur and you turn. Uh, go towards Athens East on Route 50. 50. Yep. Um, you'll come. There may be a sign that says Vinton Furnace. If there's not, you know where you turn to go to uh, awesome Lake Power. Hope. Sure. Lake yeah. Hope. Yeah. Go on past that. It's the next road to the right, and it's called Quarry Road, I think. Yeah, like, yeah. Quarry. And you'll drive uh, back a pretty rough road. You want to drive your Jeep. And you'll see an old bridge. Probably the scariest part is just walking across the bridge. <laughs> but it, it, you pull, there's a pull off there. You park yeah. there. You go back, there's a trail, it's not too far. You turn to the right, and you're either going to see the remains of the furnace itself. If you look up on the hill, you'll see the uh, Belgium Coke furnaces. And it's probably only off the yard, off the road, maybe a half mile, if that. Okay. You know? So yeah, it's, it's not like, it's hike. not like, yeah. yeah, it's an easy hike. It's an easy hike. So, so Dennis, th did you start researching this uh -huh. stuff? Oh, or yeah. Had, you, yeah, had yeah. you heard of it? Or uh, like, uh -huh. yeah, I would, uh, I would come across it through researching. Like, it. is this something that you said, all right, man, when I retire? No, I'm going to start hiking no, it wasn't. two, three times it, a week. It, it, it and wasn't. I'm a, uh, okay. And it was like last year during the lockdown, I was every day. I was. Hiking. Oh, you were, yeah, yeah. Every oh, day. Oh, in the pictures you put every out. Every day on, I mean, by myself, I was hiking. Mm -hmm. And I, I was probably in the best shape, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, since I retired, because that's all I would do, you yeah. know. And How many hours were you spending a day in the woods? <clears throat> probably six, maybe seven. Oh, really? Like you, you'd get up early and get going. Yeah, get up early and get going. Yeah. yeah. And you had, you had, Sometimes people would go with you. Sometimes it'd just yeah. be your dog. Yeah, I I started taking some people back uh, when the, the lockdown was going on mm -hmm. because I kind of felt people needed to yeah, do something, man. not go crazy. You know? yeah. Yeah. And, and really, the only option you had was the outdoors. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's the only. Yeah. 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 And so I was able to take some people, and I enjoyed doing that. I did. I think COVID did one thing, and that was renew people's appreciation for our area here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it did. And, and it's kind of a two-edged sword mm -hmm. because there was so much pressure put on the outdoors. Mm -hmm. And some of the people that were going out into it had no respect for it. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I told people where places were at, and sometimes I'd regret it. Because if you told one person, they'd tell 10. Yeah. And then that 10 would tell 10. And then there's yeah. just too many people there. And, 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 and there's too many people, but, I mean, just leaving trash. You yeah. know what I mean? Over I, Falls I, is like it. Yeah, Over Falls. It, exactly. That's one of my favorite places in Jackson County. Beautiful. And it wasn't that way. Ten years ago. No. Yeah. But it really stepped up the uh, trash and stuff during the pandemic. And if you notice, like, if the right person shares something on Facebook, you or somebody, next thing you know, you start seeing that picture. Everybody's getting that picture. Yeah, Well, the, the cool they thing are. about the stuff that Dennis shared, though, is, like, you, you wouldn't really tell people. You wouldn't give them no, a roadmap I, how I, to I, get I, there. Yeah, I tried not and, to. And, 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 like, I think that a lot of it, like, people, I don't know how many times you'd see the reaction, like, 
where is that? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. what is that? And, and they don't even understand that, like, six miles from here is uh-huh. Ophir Falls. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you, and you, where could you just go and see stuff like that? I mean, can. that's amazing. It's <laughs> a tra- Jackson County is a treasure. The northwestern yeah. part of Jackson yeah. County. Have yeah. you ever heard yeah. about those? Uh, like, they they had camps out there and stuff. Have you ever heard about mm-hmm. all that? There was a Boy Scout camp yeah. there. And yeah. Can you imagine, like, going out there now? Can you imagine just being down at the bottom and? There's just been people everywhere and it clear yeah. and easy access in and out. Because, I mean, not everybody's just going to walk in and out of there. Right. And, you know, that pipe that's pounded in, you uh, know yeah, what I that was that. for? No, I don't. Okay, that was when the Boy Scout camp was there. They dammed that area. That was their uh-huh. swimming area. And oh. there was a ladder. I saw an old picture of it. There was a ladder attached to that metal pipe. Yeah, huh, so they yeah. would jump <laughs> off the falls, the scouts would, and then they'd yeah. climb back up the ladder. Something so what they happened. do, dam up the bottom to make it deeper? Yeah, and you can you can see uh, the remains of the dam. Like there's a uh, the drain pipe. Yeah. You can see that. That's where that was at. And I think what happened, somebody either got really seriously injured or, or died, died, died out there. Out there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then they tore the dam out because yeah. of that. Okay. Yeah. How did they get in and out of there? The road. There was a road. There was that a road. Came it's right not there to, now. Right. But well, you can there. see the remains of it. Yeah. yeah. But the yeah. road is not like Up. you can't, no, you can't like do that road. now. No, you couldn't drive a car. I'm not even so sure that you can get to it legally could you get a jeep down there no no they won't they won't allow it's a it's a uh, wildlife area it's it's colton wild but there but uh, isn't it kind of landlocked and well no, it couldn't really. have been if you'd go back from that other that south or north if you side go from that one gate yeah. on raysville road oh, there's a yellow okay. gate yeah, and okay. you can come in on the top of opal falls come down the hall never went that way i've always come the, in the other way yeah i have too and you cut across a little bit of yeah, private is, land yeah. that I, so, so that was it. that was one of the questions i wanted to ask you Dennis. i mean you get back in there you get you know you're 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 not hiking on trails no. a lot of times I, I assume that a lot of times you intersect with you know private property or something like have you ever had or like is that a problem no have you ever had anybody like be like hey man what are you doing back here or but i was out to the liberty wildlife area Mm -hmm. and i was still on the wildlife area land and i was coming up over here there was a guy down below and he started shooting off shots gunshots Oh okay, my God. but you know you don't know who you're running into. <laughs> right. You know he may have a meth lab yeah, down right, there. You yeah, know right, what I mean? Right, you know, right, and uh, right. yeah. So I mean, you you could, do, you, do you pack when you go? I am now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, because that's probably. I mean, you know, you, you don't, don't know, know where you're, you're well, and you're out you there. Like, you you hey, you there there's no you law you out you there. You <laughs> that's been something I've kind of taken on the last year or two is learning to you know handle. A handgun. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I had sent away and I got a holster from these guys in Alaska. These guys carried on their chest. Your chest. Oh, yeah. And if you have it on your chest, you can wear a backpack with it yeah. or you could yeah. ride your horse. And it doesn't pull your action. pants down. No. Yeah. No. And it just it just sits here. It's Kyodex. Uh, mm. Fits in there really good. Mm. They make it custom made to whatever pistol mm. you have. You know? Yeah. It really, I, I recommend them if you're an outdoors Did you go to Alaska? Person. What's that? Did you go to Alaska? I've been to Alaska. Where'd yeah. you go? Um, we went to Denali. And, oh, I did too. And then we went down to the uh, uh, Seward Peninsula yeah, hey. and, and Kenai. Yeah. Well, now, so where'd that rank as, as far as Iceland? Because I, I I came into Fairbanks, went to the North Pole and Chena Springs, and then drove down to Seward and back through Denali. Took me 10 days. I just went up to Denali and then back down to the Kenai. Okay. That's all I did. I didn't go any farther north. The, than well, that. It, it, it wasn't actually. Once you got out of Denali, especially Fairbanks, it was. It wasn't really pretty. It was. No, the trees are really small. Yeah. yeah. Now the Chena Hot Springs. I was like, I was an hour away from the Arctic Circle. Yeah. And and um, it was it was pretty, but it was it was where that. Uh, uh, Chris McCandlish and the yes. the Wilds. Right, I, I was right. real close to where yeah. he was. Yeah, but Alaska, in my opinion, I mean, my. Oh, it, it's beautiful. But if you ask me to compare it to Iceland, it's yeah. different. In a, it's beautiful in its own way. Okay, but probably more wildernessy. Uh, more wildernessy, but again, that was the volcanic action that f- yeah, formed totally ice. Different. So yeah. you have these stark uh, landscapes and stuff with yeah. uh, these formations of rocks and waterfalls and everything. Yeah. And, but the the climate's about the same. So mm-hmm. you wear layers. You know, yeah. it might yeah. be like seventy degrees, but it can drop to mm-hmm. 40. forty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in the summertime. You know. Did yeah. you? Uh, no, Alaska intimidated me. Like as, yeah. as as an outdoors guy, and I, at the time that I went to Alaska, I was 
deep into like trail riding horses mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and i thought i'm not bringing a horse up here i mean that, that's just too big i mean what i was riding yeah. as a trail ride here is what you would have to ride like i could have rode a trail ride here been perfectly content right. put them in the trailer came back home and felt like i had a good day yeah. Yeah. was what it took to get to the trail yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. yeah it's a totally different it's just, it was just intimidating yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in the in the wildlife the grizzlies and the uh-huh. right i mean yeah. just uh, you, uh-huh. not here it's different because you hunt here yeah. Well, you could be hunted. Hunted. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the one thing about where we are. Like, yeah. I mean, you could run into some, some probably some some scary situations. People, like, people would yeah, be, your would worst. be your I mean, worst, around here. Worst yeah, thing yeah. Have you ever ran about. into anybody crazy? Like, I'm not saying Just that guy. Was not a shooting. landowner, but I'm yeah. saying you ever rode into like a a transient that's scooting you know, through the woods. I have. Well, I, the only time that uh, last year that I felt kind of uneasy and I didn't have the gun with me or whatever, mm-hmm. I, you know, where Toad rocks at. Okay, no, no. It, it, it's on out past me. Um, mm-hmm. But anyways, uh, the rock hangs out over the road. So I these guys were coming, so I, I pulled over the side, mm-hmm. and my Jeep went down in the ditch, the wheels, but it was no problem, you know, with four-wheel drive. Right. And those guys, you know, I said, well, I, I pulled over for you guys. And this one guy said, uh, so now you're saying it's our fault. <sighs> And when he said that, you know, these alarms start yeah, going off. You're like, yeah, you start going I like off. that reaction. And, and yeah. you just wondered at that time how many people were just like roaming around. You know what I mean? <laughs> During the lockdown. Oh, you, know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, to, yeah. you know, looking for no good. You know right. what I mean? Right. That's what you right. wonder right. about, you know. Well, you didn't know about anybody's mental health at that time either. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. you didn't know that, you know, what kind of criminal element yeah. was just you trying to down, take advantage yeah. of what oh, was yeah. going on. You yeah, get in sure. one of those big state forests, okay? Oh. And I'm sure you, you've, you've seen or heard of this. You'd be surprised on how, like, a, a criminal or, or uh-huh. somebody that is maybe – I'm not saying they're criminal. They could just be good people. But, yeah. But the, people will just use that as a as a, as a pass-through sure. because they know that they're, they're going to go through there. Nobody's going to see them. Right. Yeah, they're just you hiking. Know, they're just, I've been yeah. at numerous, uh, like, horse mm-hmm. parks and mm-hmm. pull off at a picnic table and somebody just pop out of a trail. Oh, you know, and, <laughs> yeah. and that's why we all, yeah. I mean, most of the guys yeah, I yeah. ride with, we all pack a gun for that yeah. very yeah. reason. Yeah. yeah. Or, Cause they can just come See, up to I hadn't even you. thought about that, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you almost would have to. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> because yeah. you're it, out there. It, it depends on the area. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Try if not say I know we're in one of the worst ones. Where's one of the worst ones? Uh, I'd say we are in one of the worst ones. Do you think so? I, yeah, maybe. As far as bad people in the woods, I'm not, I don't mean that in a judgmental way. I'm just saying there's. You know, this is a pretty <laughs> that's poverty. Sounds, that sounds like, hey, bad people. We'll in the listen woods. here, mouse killer. Bad, bad jokes. Bad jokes. Bad deliverance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, but like, I mean, I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know. There's there's some pretty hairy places you get out. Well, you get I, mean, yeah, I, I, I yeah, guess that's yeah. what I'm saying, though. You can kind of decide which places you would actually need to carry a gun. If I'm going to Lake Catherine, I'm probably not. No, because you're, yeah. yeah. you're probably going to terrify people. Yeah. Yeah. Come down there. there you oh. go. Man, I you got a jo- big hog leg on your yeah. chest. <laughs> I was jogging out there one day. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I was I was doing my thing. And I was jogging. And all of a sudden, I come up over the rocks. Yeah. And, and there was like... 40 or 50 Korean exchange students from Ohio State that had taken yeah. a bus down here yeah. to see the yeah. kid. I mean, I just ran up on them. And they all start freaking out. I get, I was like, hey, I'm good. I was like, He's got red hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fat one. Yeah. It's a fat one. Get him. You know, yeah. Get him. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, you just you don't know what yeah. you're going to run yeah. into. Oh, yeah. All right. So, so Dennis, you got to tell me. All right. You, you, so you start doing this pretty much immediately once you retire. Oh, yeah. You start. Yeah. You start. Well, I went to St. Mary's. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You see, did I, some I, I coached in St. Yeah. Mary's. And I'm telling you, that's yeah. as flat as Kansas up there. And it yeah. is so different. Did you, I mean, you don't, up, did you live up here? Oh, yeah. 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 I, I lived uh, the first year I was up there. I lived in this. Uh, ju- well, just that, that had to be hard on you. Was well, hard well, on you I lived in this adjusted income apartment. Yeah. And yeah. Um, it was, I called it the meth lab terrace. <laughs> And my my neighbor looked like Edgar Winter, you know. He was, a, he was an albino with long white hair, and he always wore black. And he'd be sitting in a chair in front of his door all yeah. the time, you know, and stuff. Tends to make a man a little nervous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I called it the year of my inflatable life oh. because everything I had for furniture was inflatable. I had an I had an inflatable chair, an inflatable ottoman. 
And I had an inflatable bed. A lot, a lot of creature comforts there. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I bought this uh, light uh, at Walmart. It had like four bulbs in it. Yeah. And it was probably made in China by political prisoners. Yeah. But <laughs> anyways, it said uh, you were only supposed to use a certain wattage yeah, in it. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. I don't need to do that much. And I'm sitting there because of the cell phone service. If I lean forward in my inflatable chair, I can yeah. get cell phone service. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, the thing just burst into flames. Oh, because <laughs> of those lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was an interesting so time. You, I didn't know you went to St. Mary's. Yeah. And yeah, my, you and Greg went over. Yeah, there. I went because of Greg. Yeah. I, I oh, kind of follow. I, yeah, I okay. kind of follow yeah. Greg around, yeah. you know, and stuff. So you retired and went there. Yeah. Yeah. That. Was yeah. Some, you did some coaching after you retired. Yes. Right? I I did. I well, I like, I'm one you, of the you only. Didn't start the hi- you didn't start the hiking and stuff probably until you were I done was hiking coaching, while right? I was coaching. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. And um, an interesting thing is, I'm one of three people that yeah. has coached at all three county yeah. schools. Yeah, this Paul is Blankenship, cool. Greg Phillips, and me. Yeah, yes. I mean, yes. there's one for yes. the record yeah, books cool. right there. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That'll be a good. Topic. Did Dave yeah. Humphreys ever do the trifecta? I think so. Dave, yeah, Dave yeah, Wilson, yeah, Dave, Dave, Dave did. Wilson. That's four. Dave did. Yeah, he did. Right. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. Know. No, but that is, I mean, yeah, that was cool. You guys ran the ran the trifecta, and then you went over there. Well, that's like eastern Ohio, correct? No, St. It's, Mary's? It's, it's up near Lima. It's northwest Ohio. Northwest. I'm yeah, sorry, you're, you're, you're like in, northwest. You're, you're like Indiana going, border. you're nearer to Toledo, yeah. to Michigan's yeah. borders, yeah, what yeah, near, yeah. you know, and stuff. And, yeah. uh it was uh, it was an interesting experience, you know. Yeah, yeah. What, what was the difference? So you were here for thirty two years, you said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what what do you think? I mean, I, I've noticed on on social media, just that's how I see you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I've noticed that you've you've and I didn't I didn't you didn't do this as my teacher. I didn't think. I thought you you played a very neutral role. Okay, mm-hmm. and not that you don't now, but you're 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 starting to see and express cultural differences. Yeah, yeah. What did what did you see like versus Southern Ohio versus going up to a different part of Ohio? Uh, when you think about um, the the uh, income differences, okay, and the the parents you mm-hmm. have more parents that are uh staying together you have mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. you know you don't have as many single parent families mm-hmm. you don't have as many kids on assisted uh yeah. lunch right, right, and right, stuff right, right. and that makes a difference oh, oh yeah yeah my, my wife teaches at northview but well, yeah. I mean, but you know, yeah. Yeah. well yeah. Yeah. you know the little school mm-hmm. uh maria stein that's up there oh yeah, yeah. okay they, That's uh, where I thought you guys were at first. I'm no, like, wow, man, no, Phil's right here, Maria well, Stein. What was the biggest difference? Yeah. It was an education for me going up there to coach. Yeah. I learned some things, and I learned it the hard way. Mm-hmm. But um, <laughs> it, it, yeah, you do. And it, it, it's just like uh, there were so many schools up there that were in the state playoffs all oh, the time. Oh, my, yeah. That's like a hotbed right there. Man. Yeah, it right. is. And at St. Mary's, we had one guy. That isn't, could, the, isn't that the same conference like with St. Henry? And, it is. Uh, oh, in, that, in that conference, yeah. in, in the MAC conference, you had, of course, at that time, you had Kenton. Yes. And you had the Mocks. Yeah. Okay. Those, yeah. And it, it was just like. We had one guy that could have started for us at Oak Hill, and we're oh. playing against Division One athletes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, Say, hey, beautiful. Everybody yeah, loves yeah. us. Why do you? Why do you, <laughs> why do you think the uh, the like the family situations are different? I don't know. Um, mm. I, I think that sometimes poverty does have a bearing, but then you look well, at maybe, you look maybe, at maybe, Tri- maybe, Trimble. Maybe. You look at them; they've been yeah. in the state playoffs. Well, but like, is there what maybe about, a difference in opportunity as far as like the the families? Maybe there's more places to work or something. Yeah, there like is. That there, out there. There, like, there, there's yeah. more employment and better paying employment up there. Yeah, there really is. Yeah. Which probably eases a little bit of home tension. Yes, and that, you know, even the values of homes are a lot. And higher those parents up there. were probably fine with not winning football games. Games. I mean, they probably well. Don't care. <laughs> I don't know about it. they're uh, they're basically like farm families or a lot, uh, lot of farm. blue collar families, and it's yeah. like some of those kids do farm work in yeah. the morning before they go to yeah. school. Yeah. How how did you like it compared to here? Did you find it to be kind of similar or, no, or a lot different? It's a lot different. It really? Was it was, lot was, different. was it? Did you find it hard to relate? Yes, I or, did. Okay, I did. I, I you think I, you think maybe you had a grittier style, or do you think that? 
But, I mean, because if, they're, get, if they're getting up to milk a cow before football practice, you can't say they're not gritty. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it just cultural difference. Just culture, yeah. Just, it's just cultural Train difference. of thought. Yeah. The kids, the, the culture here with the kids is different than the culture up there. Yeah. It was really, it, I mean, was it like like going that far away from, from here? Like, you know, if you coached at Oak Hill, Jackson, Wellston, I got to feel like that's pretty similar. Then you go up there. And, it's different. And, and, t- and totally the, different the, kids. Yeah, and the level of play is different. Uh, okay. Don't let right. anybody yeah. tell you it's not. It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's where I said I got an education. Uh, okay. You know, and uh, one of the reasons why I got out of it is mm. because the game changed. It, oh, basi- it, it basically yeah. became f- basketball on grass. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And it's oh, like yeah. at Jackson, you could take kids and you could mm. get them in the weight room. Oh, and yeah, you, you yeah. could, you know, they might not be talented, but you yeah. could get them strong. Yeah. And they were tough get kids. Get them strong. Get them and mean, and, and get whether them, they yeah. were any good or not, they the kids at Jackson they always fun. thought they yeah. always thought they were good. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and that's, that's, that's what matters. Yeah. That, that, that really How many times have we said that? Oh, yeah, I mean, it does. Yeah, it makes yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah. difference. We said that the other day. We we there was never a kid from Jackson walked out onto a field and thought they were going to lose. No, they did. not We didn't know anybody. We didn't know anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And and we'd often said. These yeah. guys aren't as good as what they think they are. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, what a, what a train of thought. I mean, what, what a – yeah. you hey, you If you're doing depression. that, dude, you're – I mean, as a coach, you can't – I mean, what more can you ask for? And, and that's what I've always said about, like, this area. Mm-hmm. I mean, hell, the kids down here, dude, they'll fight. But that's they'll, a positive attribute from sports. Oh, my God, That's yes. something that, I mean, it, you know, even in my line of work now, yeah. you know. Oh. Say, I mean, you saw me. I was on the phone whenever you came in here. Yeah. Some, Selling, yeah. you know, yeah, work and, ethic, work, yeah, and it, and it just, you yeah, know, you got to yeah. finish, you got to cross the goal line, right? You know? Oh, so, absolutely. Well, not to talk about JHS sports, yeah, but yeah, let's yeah, talk yeah. about the let's talk about your your current goal line, which has been, I mean, you recently, I don't know how to say this, I don't know the proper terminology, yeah. but you ended up as an artist showcase oh, at our yeah. local uh, art, oh, and that, that museum, was, that basically. Was fun. Or, that was, yeah. Fun. yeah so, if you don't like, like what I'd mm-hmm. like to do, could we roll it back to you're taking these hikes, yeah. When does the camera come into play? And, and like you said, you had no like photography well, you, you experience. Basically, you basically I mean, start out and you take a picture because you want to take it home and you want to show your friends and sure. your family. Yeah, yeah. And then it starts getting more refined when you get uh, into it because you start you get better. Well, yeah. and you start noticing how light changes things. Well, I was gonna say and like, the term, you know, and the time of day. Yeah. And I want to myth. get to this spot at this time. Yeah, no, yeah. well, I mean, that's, well, there's mist and fog and things, you know. Like, I mean, and, and, I mean, you talk about an evolution, man. I mean, this is a guy that would want to talk to you about defense or or, 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 or <laughs> offensive line. Yeah, you were or always running to me. Or running the midline, and now yeah. the guy's throwing out these uh, just beautiful mm. pictures. Yeah, uh, yeah of I want I want to stop there, though, a minute about football. Yeah. The midline, which was still run at Jackson a year ago, yeah, that's my legacy. Yeah. That's your legacy. Oh, yeah. okay. I was Absolutely. the one that brought the yeah. midline yeah. in. Well, I, I always heard. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll tell you what, though. The, the, you, you've always uh, been kind enough to include me on videos that you send around, and, and uh, the, the most enjoyable video you ever sent me. I mean, I, you know that. I mean, all of us to a certain extent. You know, I worked there with Shane, and I'm an option guy. I mean, I couldn't help yeah, it. Yeah. Get away from it, but like. You sent that single wing video of Denison. Yeah, running. Yeah, I mean that is the damnedest thing. But it's it, it's all kind of sound and it all relates. Oh, it was. I mean, yeah. that, that was football. And, and yeah, and, and, boy. And going back to the game, sort of passed me by. Uh-huh. I, I guess I could have learned if I had the interest. Yeah. But the defense is at such a disadvantage oh. now. And if, you know, you have people that are running the spread that yeah. shouldn't be running the spread because nah. it's uglier than hell. Yeah. <laughs> but you've got other people, and if they've got athletes, now it's out in the open. Mm-hmm. It's their best athlete yeah. on yours. Hey, it's, and it's, it's hard to get to the, it's it's hard to get to the quarterback. It's, it's hard to get to the quarterback. It's one-on-one. If they, if they can get the ball out. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's one on one, and I mean that's changed football to a degree. And they'll that, move their athletes around in the formation mm-hmm. to match up people. Oh that, yeah, you, you know, and and if most people are trying to hide somebody, I oh, mean, yeah. I'll say that, yeah. you know, yeah. and they will find them. Yeah. You know, they will find. I mean, them. oh yeah, everybody's like we've always like here. We're always hiding two or three guys, man. Yeah, I mean, and, and anywhere we've been. And, 
you know, Dennis, you and I, I think we've had this conversation before. Like, um, you know, I go back to like when, when, when dad was coaching here and we were all coaching together. I mean, you know, dude, we were running a pro eye, just smash mouth. Cause that's and, what and, suited the kids. Sure it was. And then, you know? and then, and then we went, uh, you know, defensively, we were starting to see people trying to spread us out a little bit, but we could cover them out of that four and everything. Then like I was out football for four or five years. Then Shane comes back, brings me back. And we're playing like Chillicothe. We're we're doing. I mean, it had completely changed. It has. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's not even you, you, a you're, game. Now, now all of a sudden, like we weren't dealing like a, a, if you look at the late nineties, no empty backfields. No. I mean, you you know what I mean? Like no, people really weren't doing a lot different than what we were. I mean, we hey, uh, I mean, we faced like two or three teams. Like Warren Local was a little bit innovative. But, like, we weren't seeing empty backfields. We were seeing Dallas looks and, like, doubles. And, I mean, and, and it got so sophisticated, like, yeah. playing Kenton. They mm-hmm. would call the plays from the press box based on what they saw as your cover. Oh, yeah, they're pretty. calling, they're calling so they, it. They look over. They're calling they it from a sideline. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, and they change the play. Yeah. And then you have uh, Mock in the backfield, mm-hmm. and yeah. he's a man among boys. Yeah. And they're in an empty backfield. He's standing back there by himself. If things are covered, he takes off. Just yeah. runs. Yeah. You're in trouble. You well, know what I mean? I mean? It, they're going to end. It's you know, almost, gonna, it's one-on-one football, man. It is. And, uh, that's just not the way. We 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 were used to playing. Well, and yeah. it, going back to what I was saying, the kids at Jackson when it, when it was compressed, you know, yeah. the offense was compressed, then the yeah. defense was compressed, yeah. then it got to be just hard nosed football. Oh yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Hey, who's tougher? Who's tougher? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you could always get kids at Jackson tough. Yeah, yeah. you could get them strong. You get them oh, tough, yeah. like we talked about. Get them they to had, believe they had confidence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah. But then when the game started changing, like uh-huh. I said, uh-huh. I could have learned more about it, but I just didn't have the interest to. Yeah. Well, it what, was getting was... to be more of a chore to me. And it wasn't mm-hmm. fun for me because if you're coaching defense, what it comes down to is not a shutout. It comes down to you need to make two or three stops. Yeah. Three stops a, a game, dude. Three, three yeah. stops to win the game because they're yeah. going to oh, yeah. score on you. They're going to oh, score yeah. on yeah. you. you know? Yeah, like, the, the, like nobody's talking about shutouts. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, and uh, you know, uh, my father, you know he's as old school as it could be and and like i i just know that he said like he he came back and helped shane for a year when we got there and he was just like yeah this game has just yeah he realized he, like he, i did and, yeah. you know, he, he was like you know man like i love the game but this i i i mean i just can't take the step like i can't yeah i don't i don't, I don't get it right uh, yeah, I, it mean, changed. I mean i i i still love the game i know it's got to be yeah, you got to do it, but I, I'm, I mean, hell, this is law. I, I'm yeah. lost. What I yeah. ended up doing uh, as far as clinics is we went to West Point because, oh, you know, with option, the kids, the, the kids yeah. that they had, you know, they were playing against better talent. Yep. But they were running an offense. Yeah, boy. That Keeping at least allowed them to stay, yeah, yeah. It, it, stay in the game and stuff. And that, that was just a great experience. Ball being control. Being over there at West yeah. Point and yeah. the kids they were working with and everything, mm-hmm. I, I I just love that and I love going there for oh. clinics and stuff. Yeah, those and academies do. They're they? different. They now, are. You were kind of always known though to, that I thought of as, I think your dad kind of set this mm-hmm. up for him, not set it up for him, but you were known to me as the guy that the reason that we played so well, and I think this kind of all ties in here together. But you were known as the guy. Hey, we're going to send Reinhardt to go scout. Yeah, I was. Yeah. And you would oh, come back God. and you would have I've this. never met a man that sees the field better well, than this gentleman. Now, so, so correlating now to his current hobby, Yeah. okay, you know, you were you were going into these games basically and dissecting them and learning noticing about de- them. Noticing details. N- noticing <laughs> details. <laughs> yeah, and maybe right. that was always your hobby. <laughs> yeah, and but, I just transferred it And you it just over transferred it. it to the wilderness yeah, here, yeah, you know, because yeah. you're kind of doing the same thing. You're not, yeah. not so much a playbook and a, and a, and a thing, but you're kind of piecing together this, all these details. Yeah. You, you, hey, dude, you look back to, to the late 90s when you were playing. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know how to express. Like, you don't understand on Saturday morning mm-hmm. what would happen when this gentleman would show. Oh, they were long days. <laughs> well, but like, dude, 
I've yeah. never seen anybody can see the field like that. Yeah, I've did. always heard you were like, you, crazy dissecting well, well, the and field. And it was just, just fun. Like, we would all as a staff maybe go to watch a game and scout. Mm-hmm. Like, Dennis is sitting there like, I mean, we're all kind of trying to figure something and out. And he's just like, hey, hey, boom, 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 boom. Hey, this is what they're doing. That's <laughs> what they're doing. <laughs> you used to, you used to, you used to now, you know, with you. You know that's that? true. Danny Griffiths for years. Yeah, didn't you? yeah. I, I knew there was somebody I mean, somebody it wasn't like he was helping you watch. Well, early on, I had a partner that really didn't do all much scouting uh-huh. and then and, you know this is before i was married married support. of course yeah. you yeah. know we we yeah. would often take two ladies with us oh and yeah. this yeah. guy would like entertain the ladies yeah. while i was scouting that was that was hey, his whole hey, function speaking, you know speaking about if we're going to go to this coaching shit i mean i, I just want to talk about the photography but I want to talk about the Ass Man Chronicle. Well, let's, hey, let's, <laughs> talk, I mean, let's finish up because it's it's eight fifteen. Okay. okay, so we got oh, fifteen. Yeah. Let's talk about this Marquet thing, and then let's we got. Well, I'm not. I, the reason why I brought these is uh, this is for you. Oh, oh man. and this is oh uh, that's a yeah. This is uh, this is uh, Balcony Arch, which is in Hocking oh, State geez. Forest. Um, and uh, yeah. basically, uh, you know, the water came over the edge, but then oh. it found a weak place, and it uh, went through it. And it's, it's a very interesting. Uh, I thought oh, it looked good man. in black and white. Man. Thank you very and, much, and, Coach. And this is uh, this is a wing pillar that's in Vinton Furnace State oh. Forest at a place called the Watch Rock. Oh, and uh, I anyway, thought that was the tea towers. You. That almost looks like. I that? thought this was the tea tables. Or not the, What's the one in Hawking that the, uh, yeah. they call the Devil's Tower or the? There's a devil. Devil's every county has. Yeah. Isn't that in Scioto, is that in Scioto County? The the, the well, the it's TV? right on the border with Jackson. Uh, okay, but ours has been kind of marred by graffiti and stuff. Uh, uh, there's one up in Vinton County that's a very nice one. Uh, this tower, um, yeah. I kept the, the way I kept looking for this. There was a Vinton County Historical Society. These people were arguing mm. back and forth where this thing was at. And they, it was almost like a political argument, you know. They were getting pretty heated where it was at. Uh, and they said it was up near uh, Lake Hope, but uh, it wasn't. It was in Vinton Furnace State Forest. Did you have to search for it a little bit? Oh, I had searched for it a long time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, it's pretty amazing. Uh, One of these days, I imagine, it'll come down, but it's just balanced right there well, on it and stuff. Uh, Coach, I'll tell you, I, 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 I walked through that that gallery up here and everything and, and I, I i just gotta be honest with you i know i'm you know it's not like we're best friends but uh i i i couldn't be more proud to call oh, you my you. friend dude like yeah. that, i'm, I'm taking to see what you're doing so you're having a great awesome. time <laughs> and you seem to just be enjoying your yeah, oh, you I, I am and i am enjoying I, my retirement like you, you are, and that's yeah. what's good about uh teaching because you can retire when yeah, you're 52 yeah, years yeah, old right. you know yeah, yeah, right. and if you've kept yourself in pretty good shape yeah, i mean yeah, you know you yeah. got a long retirement yeah yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So. well man i mean we love you man. yeah we love you i mean i want you to come back yeah we gotta come back because hell we didn't get i mean i want to really go into this ass man chronicle Oh, we can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've been trying to get him yeah. on here for a yeah, while. We, we can do it. Yeah, that, you, I mean, that was part of what Have I, you had a good time? Will you come back? Oh, yeah, I'll come back. Okay, <laughs> good deal. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers, guys. Yeah. There you go. It's been fun. Right. Yeah. We'll do it again. All See right. you. See you.